appropriations lapse at the end of the fiscal year. They are good for the year, mm -hmm. and then they lapse. The unspent money, if any, goes into the fund balance. It is not free money to do anything with. It's not leftover money to go shopping with. It has to be appropriated again by the voters. That's one thing that can happen to it. It's, it's in there, and it can be appropriated for expenditures at the next town meeting. It can be used to reduce the following year's tax rate, mm -hmm. um, or it can be retained for emergencies. Um, and sometimes retaining um, a certain amount of the fund balance is a good idea. And in fact, as you'll see on the next slide, the recommendation is 5 to 15 yeah. percent of regular general fund operating revenues or 8 to 17 percent of regular general fund operating expenditures is a safe percentage to retain in the general fund. The fund balance, and this is just to give you a general idea, and often Barbara speaks to this because she's so good at all of this <laughs> stuff, but the fund balance is the net amount of the unexpended appropriations, excess revenues received, uncollected taxes, and other liabilities. That is what you are thinking about when someone uses the term fund balance. That is what it is. There are, again, exceptions to the lapse rule. So the general rule is appropriations lapse at the end of the year. But that's not the end of the sentence. One of, Steve mentioned special versus um, separate warrant articles. One really important exception to the lapse rule are special warrant articles. And there are sort of two ways that special warrant articles don't have to lapse necessarily at the end of the fiscal year. Any special warrant article, so these are bonds, these are petitioned articles, um, these are articles funding capital reserve funds, and these are any other articles designated simply as special, non-lapsing, um, right. things of that nature. Any special warrant article can be encumbered for one additional year by the governing body prior to the end of the fiscal year. Yeah. They have a special warrant article adopted in, in March of 2016. Prior to the end of tw 2016 fiscal year, the governing body can encumber one more year. Yeah. Another way that special warrant articles get encumbered mm -hmm. is if the special warrant article itself, when adopted, said this is a special warrant article, it's non-lapsing, and it's not going to lapse for X amount of years. Mm -hmm. That amount of years can be up to five. That's yeah. the maximum. So you could have language in the initial warrant article that said it's non-lapsing for up to three years, four years, five years, and that would be another way to prevent lapse. Um, another way to, um, to prevent lapse is encumbering funds by contract, so entering into a truly enforceable contract before the end of the fiscal year to encumber funds to be spent for the purpose of that contract mm -hmm. is another way. Bonds are do not lapse anticipated grants. Grants last for the lifetime of whatever the grant says the money is available for. Capital reserve funds, again, you're saving up money. Those continue on and on throughout the years. Same thing with trust funds, special revenue funds, and revolving funds, which we'll hopefully have time to speak on a little bit, Or, I, but I do see that I have approximately 11 minutes. Um, <laughs> laps, more on the lapse of appropriation, other non-lapsing funds. These are other types of funds that the money doesn't lapse at the end of the year. And the language you usually see on the statute is that the funds accrue from year to year, which means do not lapse. Conservation funds, sewer, water, impact fees collected, and also recreation revolving funds under 35B. And the other thing you also will commonly see with regards to some of these funds is it also is made clear these funds, such as the water fund, the sewer fund, it's not part of the general fund of the town. They're always considered separate funds and designated as such in the statute that creates them. Absolutely. 